on payment. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill calling it a silent crisis. Each year, thousands of babies delivered are stillborn. The National Desk's Angela Brown joins us right now. And Angela, right now there's actually two bills moving mm -hmm. through Congress to try and help moms who, who go through this many times all alone. And they're hoping these bills will make a difference. You know, Jan, these two bills are called, one, the Shine for Automac that would improve data collection for stillbirths, and the Maternal and Child Health Stillbirth Prevention Act of 2022 that can open up funding for prevention. You know, Jan, I talked to a mom who lost her baby. It was her first pregnancy. She believes so many Americans are unaware of this silent crisis. A magical time captured in loving pictures, a beautiful baby shower, everything going just right. I had a perfect pregnancy the whole time. So this was obviously very, very shocking. Roughly 31 weeks into her pregnancy, Liz O'Donnell felt reduced fetal movement, rushed to the hospital, only to get devastating news about her daughter she already named Aaliyah. She no longer has a heartbeat. For three agonizing days, Liz struggled to deliver Aaliyah, stillborn. When she did, Liz and her husband embraced their baby girl for the first and last time. She looked like every other baby that's born. Um, she was about four pounds and had a lot of black curly hair. <laughs> Sadly, Liz's story is not unique. The CDC says stillbirth affects about one in 175 births. And each year, about 21,000 babies are stillborn in the U.S. Emily Price, the executive director for Healthy Birthday, supports two bills now moving through Congress, including the Maternal and Child Health Stillbirth Prevention Act of 2022. It would amend the Maternal and Child Health Services block grant of the Social Security Act to include grant funding for stillbirth prevention. We could save 6,000 babies every single year in the United States with prevention measures. Liz isn't waiting, creating a Leon Action care packages to help mothers during the early days of grief, now in over 20 hospitals. I want our packages to be the standard of bereavement care after pregnancy and infant loss. And you may not know this, but October is Pregnancy, Infant, and Child Loss Awareness Month. To bring attention to stillbirths, there are a number of events happening across the country to bring more attention to this very important issue. Yeah, and so many women watching right now are, are glad to see they're not alone and that there's being uh, attention that's being brought to this. And you see a movement not only from lawmakers, but also some of these smaller organizations to help women really at such a horrible and yeah. sad time. Yes, heartbreaking.